don't tell me. Please don't tell me. I recognize you. Oh, don't be silly, Arnie. Of course you recognize him. Except for the beard he hasn't changed in 50 years. It's <sighs> Malcolm Stewart. I know it's Malcolm Stewart. You haven't changed much in 50 years. <laughs> Peggy. Peggy Pendleton. You're Peggy Pendleton. <laughs> who am I, you old rascal? You don't recognize me, do you? I know who you are. <laughs> You're Arnold Franklin. <laughs> oh, I know who you are. <laughs> you look wonderful, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> sit down, sit down. Pete isn't home. Really? Uh. Oh, he left a note on the door saying he was going to the uh, railroad station to pick up a surprise. He's so funny. <laughs> Always full of surprises, yeah. even 50 years later. <laughs> the two of you look unbelievable. <laughs> How, how's your family? Oh, I was sorry to hear about your wife having passed away. Yes, about four years ago. And you're living with your children now in New York? Pete wrote us and told us. Yep. Retired and uh, moved to New York to live with my son and his family. By the way, what do you think this big surprise is? It could be most anything, knowing Pete. <laughs> hey, that must be Pete. Now we'll find out about the surprise. Mm -hmm. So good to see you oh, all. Hi, Pete. Pete, oh, Pete, oh, so good to see you. <laughs> Remember Lillian? <laughs> I remember all of you. You haven't changed a bit. Really? Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> we were together in the Thursday Night Drama Society. <laughs> Never me, Malcolm. Oh, beautiful as ever, Lillian. How's Donald? Oh. That's OK, Malcolm. Donald passed away a couple of years ago. Oh, oh I'm so that, sorry. I would not have missed this get-together for the world. And you're a little surprised, Pete. You really surprised me by having us all come together. <laughs> you don't know what the surprise is yet. <laughs> come on! We'll tell you the big surprise. <laughs> come on, dear. I've invited you here for the weekend to help celebrate. Celebrate? Our 50th reunion. No. No. Pete wants to tell you. Now, let me have the honor, Lillian. For goodness sake, Pete, tell us. I can't wait much longer. Well, I am pouring this iced tea so that we can toast Lillian and me. You don't mean to tell me that you... <laughs> yes, I do. I have loved Lillian all these years, so I asked her to be Mrs. Pete Waters. And I said yes. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Congratulations. Oh, Lillian, I am so happy for you both. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful for me. Lillian will make me a happy man, finally. <laughs> you are full of surprises, Pete. <laughs> we are going to spend the entire weekend having a good time together here on the farm. We are going to celebrate all weekend. When is the wedding? <laughs> That's another surprise. Lily and I were married two weeks ago in Detroit. Oh, <laughs> she's come here to stay. Uh, wait till I tell my family about this. Why, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs>